three. They got Mayberry on him as quick, but he's not as, as tall. So here's that double on the baseline. Five second call. Larry Finch a little frustrated there. 13-29 left in the game. Memphis State by seven, but the Hogs have the ball. Ernest Smith back into the contest. This, this, this Memphis State press has been very effective because what it has done is it, it, it did force Arkansas out of their set offense. And now they're going back to straight man. Now they'll be able to run a two-play, which we will see. There's that high-low. And now, if you, now you're going to be able to get it to him. Right there. Right there. They sent it right back to Mayberry. Stolen, but he got it right back. Look at the passing, and well, Mayberry hit his man, but Ken Miley just in the contest couldn't hold on. One pass, a little too many. The big O probably could have taken that one right up, and he looked to make that extra pass and out of bounds. Standing O in the pyramid, Nolan Richardson not that happy. His team trailing by seven. It was a dumb argument. It all started when she said she went to the GM dealership for an oil change. How long did it take, I asked. Less than 29 minutes, she said. Well, well, what, did they do anything else or just change the oil? She said they checked the fluids and everything. In less than 29 minutes? Guaranteed. She said, no way, I said. Then she said, why don't you ever believe me? That's when I knew I was in trouble. Thanks. Your GM dealer's serious about putting service back in the service department. So try Mr. Goodwrench Quick Lube Plus for a change. Long before Scotty Pippen was chosen for the USA basketball team. Hey, Pippen, Mike. Look, that's Big Harold. Wanna play? Yeah. He had to prove himself here. He knew he could count on his friend, Ronnie Martin. Now, Scotty. AT&T salutes all of our Olympic hopefuls and everyone who helped them get this far. Hey, Scotty. Those guys at the Olympics gonna be tough. Why? Did they sign Big Harold? <laughs> <laughs> GMC Truck Hour only business is trucks and has been for over 80 years. A dedication to truck strengths and values to keep in mind. Because when you need to haul something, tow something, carry precious cargo, find new trails, or simply ride high and proud, there's nothing quite as strong as a truck. GMC Truck, the strength of experience. Update from Tuscaloosa, where the tide is starting to roll. Andre Perry has the ball, whips it up court. Cedric Moore will finish the play. He's fouled. It counts. About nine minutes to play in the ball game. The tide starting to pull away. 64-56. Back to Dave and Jim. Welcome back to the pyramid. A seven-point game here. 62-55. Memphis State on top of Arkansas. You see how much time left in the contest. Arkansas is really going to the boards in the second half. They out-rebounded Memphis State 11-5, yet they trail. And if you look at personal matchups, Hardaway's got 13 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists. Mm -hmm. Todd Day has 9 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists. <laughs> Billy Smith. Yes! What a game the elevator man has played today. He's been terrific. I think you've just given him a new nickname. Oh, he can... Do it all today. See this? They're trapping Memphis State. All kinds of cars in the zone now, which gives up a three-pointer. Jim, they went to this trap against Missouri. The line open. No for Mayberry. And Allen, who's had a bunch of rebounds and a couple of points off the bench, picks up another. It's both the good and the bad. As soon as you go zone, you know, you're going to give up a three. Hard away. He's fouled by Miller on the way in. Right now, the tide, the emotion, the momentum is certainly in Memphis State's favor. And I mean, you almost sense a little run here. Arkansas is going to need to get a bucket down the other end, a stop in another bucket, because this thing could go very easily into double figures in the teens. Memphis State went to 10 right off the bat in this half, but Arkansas knocked it down to four. It's such a gamble when you go zone, when you have the lead. Because, and the reason that Coach Finch did is because the same thing we've been talking about the last few times now, how to handle high-low post. That's what he's worried about. So he said, let go zone, and let's let's make him shoot. Larry yeah. C's giving it. See, Larry said, follow through, because he was a great scorer. He once scored, I think, 48 points in a game. He did. Right? School record. School record. He's giving, you know, a little follow through. 
part of the reason for that zone you talk about they used it very successfully against Missouri down the stretch and that helped them win that game here but you still run the risk of giving up standstill jumpers just as Mayberry had Mayberry will not miss many of those is that trap which is very effective look at that holy oh. cow he's attacked the <laughs> time clock <laughs> what was even, even Nolan Richardson has that oh, what was that pass <laughs> That looked like Montana to Rice. <laughs> Only Rice could have gotten that high to get it. Ooh, this is this is going to zone. Douglas. And the lead is 11. Place is going bonkers right now. Largest lead of the game. Something good's got to happen for Arkansas. Yes, that'll quiet the crowd. That was Isaiah Morris. He's got 10 in the game now. Shut you right up. Plenty of time left in this thing. 11:33. Douglas. Oh, this time he makes the strong move. Oh. And he got it. Career, career night. Fair to be Douglas. His career high 25. He's got 18. It could happen. And uh, Miller went away by Calvin Allen. <laughs> and Allen letting him know about it. He better move quickly or he'll get a tee for the talk. They must have gone off of Arkansas. Oh, the Tigers get it back. Oh. Ernest Smith stripped away out of bounds. Memphis State gets the ball. I didn't quite see down in the corner how I, that I don't, ball I don't went away. Back he blocked it out of in the third row. Arkansas 13 turnovers, Memphis State hey, 5. That's the big stat. Five yeah. turnovers against 40 minutes of hell. I know. In the win against Missouri, really the biggest win they've had this year, they had only eight turnovers, so that may be an indicator of when they play well. Allen was in trouble, but sent it back out on top. was a pass and he got it to Douglas oh. no oh. no finally Arkansas good hustle by everybody Shepard does not want to take that shot day on Ernest Smith they're good buddies great pass by Miller day the three you hit it Absolutely great touch pass by the big guy. They've got a game in Memphis, 10-15 to go. 68-60. That's the first field goal of the second half for Todd Hill. Hard to believe. Douglas, oh, that was a force. No, and Miller will way with the rebound. He got bumped. That'll get him out of the game. That's one of those that gets you out of the game. Coach says you're a little tired, I think. Oh, all by himself. He nicely kicked it out. And Mayberry, two threes in a row and two assists for Miller. And he distributes the ball. That's the problem with going to that type of defense. A little bit either zone or kind of help defense. Because when he gets the ball, he, can, he made two great passes, Miller. Six points he gave his Arkansas team. And it's 68 to 63. The Tigers. He's back. The Southland Chrysler Plymouth Terminator is back. And his targets are the new 92s. Like his 92 Voyager for just $12,988. Nothing can stop him. He's got his sights on prices, and he's bringing them down. We're eliminating the competition with prices like these. Get a 91 Fifth Avenue for $13,988. Or a 91 Acclaim for just $78,88. We're zapping high prices. All the Southland Chrysler Plymouth, 3674 Elvis Presley. All the baby. No matter your shape, size, or lifestyle, Lottie's has the right shoes for you, for men and women, young and old, all at great low prices. And now, there's a Lottie's Shoes in North Little Rock. Lottie's Shoes is celebrating the grand opening of our new store in McCain Plaza in North Little Rock. This Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, buy one pair of famous brand shoes for men or women and get a second pair for half price at Lottie's Shoes. There are a hundred reasons why college football fans will enjoy these two ESPN home videos. But for the sake of time, 
Here's five of them. to Memphis, Tennessee, the pyramid. You know, they tell you to attack the basket here. They're attacking the backboard, Jimmy. That's right, and, and as you said, get ready with your 3D glasses because it's going to come at you right there. It yeah. comes. Duck. Right at you, duck. It almost went right over our heads, I think. <laughs> and we have mentioned that I would try and help everyone to ref some of that. It's, it's still out. Oh, Way my. outside. No, uh, uh That one goes over the backboard. Didn't like that. Didn't like that no. shot. Larry Finks didn't like that shot. It was so quick. It happened so quickly. It's down to five. Memphis State four of nine in three-point range. Arkansas uh, four of 14, and that's uncharacteristically low. 48 percent. Getting closer. They get close to that 50. Arkansas on a six-nothing run. They were down by 11 at one point. Shepard doesn't want to take that shot. Going to put Miller at the high post now because he can pass the ball so well from there. Now he's low. Ooh, great dig. Oh, that was Vaughn's quickness there. Madlock tries to finish camp, and Mayberry comes away with it for, Memphis, uh, for Arkansas. They took the measure. No. Pace is getting very quick again. We're back in the hard top. Last few possessions. Back in the schoolyard. Good oh. pass. Douglas, and what a play! Oh, he uses his body well, Jim. Oh, he's, he's something else, I'll tell you. He wasn't even starting early in the year. Now watch him. Look at the move he's going to make. He's going to go on the other side. Look. Oh, yes. What is that, 20? Is that what, we have, what you have him down for? Is that 20? Look at him. Here he comes. Step through. Two players. Other side. Up. Good. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, what he's got 20. Night. He has it a big. He's only a, well, he's a 62% free throw shot. Well, he's playing, though. This is going to be nothing but net, probably. Thank you. Right. He's only four away from his career high, 25. He picked the right day as far as Memphis State fans are concerned. 8.36 to go. And the lead back to 8.71.63. I don't want to put you on the spot, but who do you score that 25 against? Do you know? No, I put him on the spot. You did. You put me on I the spot. I thought you knew it. Because it can't be as big as the 25 no, he's going to get tonight. Absolutely. Well, the crowd up and standing now. They've been waiting for this game since the schedule came out last summer. Tough pass. Good catch. They said this is a game of athletes. You got Hardaway and you got Billy Smith here. And the three. Oh, Mayberry. Wide open. Wide open. Yes! Oh. That matches Billy Smith's career high. He's got 20. Again, an 11 point lead. Shepard, the three. Well, he's been shy about taking the shot, but that time he burned Memphis State. Why that worked is Hardaway went all the way off his man to double Miller down low. And after about the bucket went in, he went to Larry Fitch. He went, he said, should I or should not? Great pick, but Billy Smith was lucky to. Mayberry is so quick. Did you start using clock, Jimmy, with 7.25? Oh, no, no, ago? no. Play. You got too much time. Keep going. Vaughn looks tired, so does Anthony Hardaway. Douglas doesn't, he's still thinking about all those points. If that goes in, oh my! That's it! <laughs> 23 from the junior, and look at this place! Oh! If you've got nobody to pass it to, and you used your dribble, and you don't call timeout, there's only one thing to do. Shoot that sucker. <laughs> Bank it home. Hey, do you guys have a stat for how many times they've won when Douglas throws in a bank shot from the top of the key? <laughs> this may be the first. Oh, man. 
Oh, that breaks your heart. Let me tell you, you're on the bench the coach who's saying, hey, may not happen tonight. And Douglas rejects it into the stands on the other side. He's playing all over the place. 11 point Memphis State lead, 7.04 left in the contest. Nolan Richardson, very composed. Yeah, he should be. He knows he's going to, he's going to the NCAA tournament. He, I saw him right before the game. I said, hey, should be a heck of an environment. He says everywhere we go is a heck of an environment. They all want, everybody wants to be there, which is a uh, tribute to his program, what he's done at Arkansas. Mayberry's second three. He's got 13 now, and again, the game down to eight. Long way from being over. Long way. What, what, what Memphis State's trying to do is run its half-court offense. Douglas got it to Vaughn. Jim, you said the last six or seven minutes would be critical. All the emotion would be spent. It, it doesn't look that way right now. Well, it, they're certainly drawing from this great crowd and the success they're having. And Arkansas is not going to go away. They're not going no. away. You know that. What Memphis State did the last two times now was really good. That's your question. They didn't hold the ball. They ran their half-court offense. They stopped going up and down. That is the big number. Yeah, that's a, that hurts Memphis State for sure. That was another great pass of uh, Mayberry into Miller. So he'll go to the line to shoot, too. He's four for four from the strike today. He's got such great hands. There's the Memphis State Brain Trust. See how tired... They are looking at you. When you bend over that way, Miller's and you're grabbing your shorts, the bottom of your shorts. And you get a little bit tired. They win. Ernest Smith back in the game, and David Vaughn will take a seat on the bench with those four. And uh, he gets a bit of an ovation. Clock will just not go fast enough when you're winning. When you're at home and you want the game so bad, it just won't move. You keep looking up and say, what? It can't be still five minutes. It can't be. Almost a steal, and maybe it is. Touched by Arkansas. It'll belong to Memphis State. And pretty hard away. Jim has had only one break in this game. Maybe for two or three minutes, and that was all. Hey, the next time he gets a break is when his eligibility is up. That's <laughs> the next break he's getting. They beat the pressure. Billy Smith, nobody underneath. Takes the three and got it anyway. Shoot it when it shows. Yeah. Billy Smith. Got to take it when it's there. Even without a rebounder? Even without a rebound. That's why you run transition. Shepard. He answers in a hurry, but only two. Guess what? We have another career high. Billy Smith, career high. Oh, oh, great pass, and Madlock draws the foul, or was it stripped away clean? It was. He wants the foul, but he will get the basketball. 5.55 left in the game. Memphis State by 10. This crowd standing. Oh, what a steal. Oh. Quick hands, huh? What a bad pass. Mayberry. Uh-uh. Douglas rips it away. Ooh. Day took a shot to the face. Oh, shoot. Smith, shoot it when it shows. It. Got Not that time. Good shot. Good shot. That's why you want to transition. Get wide open shots. Hawkins, look at the nifty pass today. Todd fights to get that one. And it's exactly right. Fight is the operable term. He's had a fight for every point that he's got. Tough homecoming. Yeah, well, not too bad. 14 in the game and a bunch of assists and rebounds. Well, he's played well, but it's been a battle. Yep, so they've really played him tough. Nice play. Five minutes left in the game. Man, like to bring it out. Hardaway fakes the three, works on Hawkins, and missed it. Got fouled. You got fouled. You heard it from here. Yeah, no call on Miller. Shepard. Knocked away by Douglas, and he saves it. What a game by this kid today. Smith will bring it up. They'll reset it. Four and a half to go in the game. Memphis State by eight. Oh. Steal by oh, Shepard. That's a, a really aggressive. Letting a physical play, and then they threw. And then the foul on the block on Billy Smith, so Mayberry will get two. Memphis State's bench up in arms. They think that they were robbed of a couple of calls. That's 
to walk away with W's. They are facing a team today with a bit of a mission. They certainly do have more to play for. Look at the pass, Madlock. The Smith and Miller with the block and then the foul on the Tigers. And if that's on Vaughn, that would be five. We'll see who they give it to. Billy Smith. You're right. 82 75. Day stops and pops. No, and oh! Vaughn knocked it in. Vaughn knocked it in. And look at Hardaway's, Hardaway's looking at him and saying, hey, that, no, 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 don't do that. That's the wrong basket. Todd Day is saying, hey, we were owed one after the bank shot by Douglas. The fall quickly on Arkansas with 4.01 left to play. How important is this game to the Hawks? They're in the NCAA tournament. I, I, I personally, it's not that important. If I were, if I were, you never like to lose. You know, winning is what it's all about. But it's not a conference game. It's, uh, you know, they play such a tough conference, and they're in the NCAA tournament anyway. So it's a game that you come and you, you should have fun playing. Play as hard as you can, and, and certainly want to win. But you go on from there. They're an NCAA tournament team. That's your goal. Your goal is your conference and make the tournament. That's the two goals. The conference championship and then the NCAA championship. This is their last non-conference game, though, and you don't want to go back in the conference play your last eight games with, with a two-game losing no, streak. I guess me. that's the only thing that you'd really be concerned don't about. Don't get me wrong. You never like, you nobody ever wants to lose. But when you talk about in terms of the goals, that a program has. Your goals generally are to win your conference championship, get in the NCAA tournament, go as far as you can. Six point game or two threes from this young man, Major. Hopkins gets it into Miller. Oh. Day with Day. a big what offensive a great, rebound. Great offensive rebound. Oh, and, and a steal it by Day. Oh. Hopkins put it in. And, and just like that. Two point game. Another. Billy Smith didn't have room to come out. Look at Hardaway! Oh my! Four point game. Make it. Still a four. I thought for sure he was going to slam it. I don't know how do you say it? Yeah. It's easy to do in this game. Oh boy. It was very close to another turnover before for Memphis. State of the past to half court. There it is, very easily could have turned over, but no, he looks behind him, good players do that, see who's coming, and then a nice 9.6, 9.6, 9.7, 9.7. Here he comes to save the day, Anthony Hardaway. Oh, oh, oh. He's, this been a ball game. Again, Miller a little bit tired. But he still knocks it down. He sure does. Arkansas showing its character, it's also showing what a veteran team it is to come back on the road good because of what i said before it's very easy to let that a little bit and say hey you know, but no they're right back miller gets game. them both so a 320 left in this game it's a nail biter 85 83. that game started like every other one i've played with 11 8. 11 7. dad yeah yeah whatever she actually said yes he was trying for an edge Huh? Yeah. Same woman the rest of your life. Trying to rattle me. Mortgage, kids, nervous. 
Huh? You look nervous. And it was working. <laughs> Kids? So, uh, who's gonna be your best man? Now it was my turn. I don't know. I thought maybe, uh, you. Me? Oh, too bad. Only one beer has the taste as genuine as the people who drink it. What do you mean you'll get back to me? Budweiser. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you had me. I had you out there. A luxury car says a lot about its owner. Mine says I'm witty beyond belief. Mine says I'm more Europeanish. Mine says I'm the product of superior genes. A luxury car says... I'm so successful I can go into debt. I'm much more handsome. Cosmopolitan. Another pathetic sheep following the herd. Says a lot. I'm irresistible. Powerful. Dialy. Sexy. Dynamic. The all-wheel drive Subaru Legacy. All it says is that you bought a great car and you can still pay your mortgage. In Baton Rouge, Duke survives without Bobby Hurley. LSU pressing. Devils beat the press. Leitner draws O'Neal, then dishes to Thomas Hill. They win by 10. LSU missed critical free throws. O'Neal had 25, Leitner 22. Back to Memphis. Here it's very close. 85, 83, 320 to go. How about that Duke score without Bobby Hurley in Baton Rouge? Uh, now, I, I did say that they were going to go undefeated. I was wrong there. But after the loss to Carolina, to go right to LSU and get a win without Hurley shows what an exceptional team the Blue Devils are. Oh, they really are. I guess the big key here now will be getting the ball in the right people's hands. That man, right there, Hardaway, gets the ball. Look who, right? They've got a small guy on board. Ernest Smith in the game now. Now we got Dave. A little zone. A little zone. You know what? This is how we started the game. Right, the game started, said, let's see you take a shot from outside. 14 on the shot clock. Right, shoot it from outside. And now you got to get it. See? Curtis was not sure what he wants to do. Right, they're, they're trying to deny Hardaway the ball. Oh, Douglas again, no. Not Knocked time. away. It's Memphis State's ball. They'll have a new clock with 235 left in the contest. I take that back. Five on the shot clock. Didn't touch the rim. And Devon, and uh-uh, he just swung it. Wow. Arkansas to time. Or take the lead with a three. Tough defense by Memphis State. Look at the way that Mayberry blocked out there. See, that last possession, you mentioned Hardaway never touched the ball. Did a great job of keeping the ball from him. I couldn't make out in that possession whether it was a trick defense or just a matchup zone, but they had someone on Hardaway the whole time. Now down this end, you want to have your best players touch the basketball. Last time Arkansas Mayberry, led. Mayberry, Day, and Oliver. Mayberry, Day, and Oliver. Miller, and he lost the ball. The big goal. Lost concentration on the pass. Oliver Miller. Nolan Richardson can't believe it because those hands of Oliver Miller are very short. It's such a big, two minutes to play, two-point game. You got the ball down there. You got it to the guys you want. Long, dangerous pass for Billy Smith. He makes the save and gives it to Vaughn, and he got fouled by Miller. Both Miller and Day upset, but that's a, that's a call. That's gonna, you're going to get that call against you every time. Every time. Right there's the baseline drive. You know what? Two guys coming at the guy up there. Look at that up there. Of course that's they're gonna get a foul. It's a foul on the wrist. No, you didn't foul him. You're right. <laughs> the other guy fouled. Miller picked it up. That's three on the big guy. Vaughn. 74% free throw shooter. And big one there from Memphis State. That's it there. He's got 19 in the game. But that's not a career, though. <laughs> no. Everybody he, else has career. Right? 38 points is his career. He's not going to get there tonight. <laughs> Nailed them both. There's poise for the freshman. And the lead back to four. I was going to say the last time Arkansas led was 33-32 in the first half at the four-minute one. Under two. He put the ball in the hands of your best players. See? Oh, did he nail that one? That's Time nice. dead. See, that's nice. You gotta put the hands, put the ball in the hands of your better players. Hey, he's got 11 in his half and 20 in the game. Lee Smith, counted by Mayberry. No, and the rebound 
to Mayberry. See, that's where you want Hardaway to have the ball. Here comes Day. Day, look at the spin move. Vaughn with a great defensive play. Madlock. A lot of contact. <laughs> You're right. It's been consistent, though. Yep. There were some calls underneath before that were...